Sorry, but Gen Z men are gonna die alone. I was texting this guy and I was telling him like music is one of the most important things to me. And so he asked me what my favorite song was and I sent it to him and he was like, oh, I didn't like it. I could barely get through the first minute. I had to turn it off. Thanks, you're blocked now. The fuck? Like y'all do not know how to speak to women. Why would you say that? And I know y'all's dads and y'all granddads were some dogs, but they knew how to speak to women. They knew how to talk to them. They were liars and cheaters. But clearly they knew what the fuck they were doing because they had like five different families. Y'all need to do some consulting because this y'all not getting bitches this way. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but Gen Z men are going to die alone. I was this will come from a person with a body count. This is why I mean we can't have intellectual conversation with certain women. This conversation will come from a person with a body count that will tell us you men don't know how to do this. Clearly, prior men have been in your guts clearly and you have to understand the rest of us in line want the same thing to just smash and go oh you don't know how to talk it doesn't make sense <laughs> it doesn't make sense if they lied and they did what they did they still got it that was the whole purpose these women can uh, we don't want to marry y'all we don't want a relationship from y'all y'all not deserving of it y'all not deserving of it y'all don't want to think about that y'all not deserving of it it's not us it's y'all y'all not deserving of it and before you think I'ma change my motherfucking standards, bitch, I'ma change the nigga. That's how we do that one. If I want motherfucking flowers just cause it's Wednesday, you not finna never get me to be able to be like, oh, he's just not romantic. It's a whole bunch of niggas that is. And they be fine too. What the fuck be the hold up? Ain't no motherfucking hold up, bitch. If I want steak and lobster, bitch, you never gonna get me to or convince me to want McDonald's, ho. If I want a motherfucker to, to make my life easier in any way possible that they can, then that's what the fuck I'm gonna have. Because that's how I feel, love. That's that. That's what make me feel like you give a fuck about me, and that's just what the fuck it is. This may be a controversial take, guys, but I would dump my girl if I seen her friends was like this. If these are the type of women she hang out with, I would want nothing to do with her. I wouldn't. I wouldn't question. I wouldn't try to figure it out. I wouldn't care if you like. Oh, she's my distant friend. If these are the type of women you hang around with, I want nothing to do with you. Miss me with all that. You have to know the company you keep influence you. This woman is going to be single. And the women that follow her will be single too. Every woman that follow her and like her videos, they are literally just a smash and keep it pushing. I typically wouldn't even deal with it just because of the way they speak and the cursing. Once a girl's curse aloud on the phone, I end call. There's a little red button on your phone. I just press that. Once I hear too much of that, I'm like, I don't want to deal with this. I already know it's a headache and I have my time on. You know, I just don't want to take all them pills just to make sure my head don't hurt because I'm dealing with her. I'm good. So if I see a woman that I like following women like this and they're liking all the videos, yes, she's speaking facts. Yes. I'm I'm cool. I'm, I have no problem. You know, love what you want. Watch what you want. I just won't be a part of that life. Like, you know, I won't, I'm not going to force them to change. I just know women like this won't find a man or keep a man. And if she did get a man, he will have to be a submissive man to sit there and take on the humiliation and get disrespected like this. If I know a woman that I have to deal with, have a conversation with, and I hear the ratchetness, all I do is sit back and just be like this. There are certain guys, the most I talk is about business and this podcast conversation. That's the most I hold conversations. If it's not basketball, things that I'm interested in, I don't say nothing. There are certain conversations I have no, nothing to say because this it doesn't benefit me. I don't care for the topic. I just sit back and watch. So when I see Ratchet, I have nothing to say. I just be like, that's crazy. They'll be like, you never speak. I speak a lot. <laughs> I speak a lot. But it got to be a conversation worth speaking for. Going back and forth with this type of women? It, no, no, no. Guys, if y'all ever see me um, in real life arguing with a woman, just know I lost my mind. Just know it. Sean have lost his mind. 
If y'all ever see it, know they cloned me or something happened, it cannot be me. It cannot be me. I get, I literally get a headache when I have to go back and forth with ignorance. I rather sit back and just watch and be like, I'm good. I don't watch fight videos. If I want to watch videos of people fighting, I will watch UFC or wrestling. I don't want to see just fight reasons. There's certain things I just don't deal with, guys. It's just not, just not me. Women like this, mm -mm. if I see a girl that I like and she's doing, I like this, I like Nicki Minaj, nonsense and stuff like that. I want to do that. Like if Nicki Minaj acting crazy and she's all into it, like she's hyped up. I like this. That, that's right, Nikki. Talk you. I'm like, because you got to stand the things that they watch influence their life. They love it. They absorb it. They're like, yeah, yeah. One thing we guys have to understand, they will test us. They watch all this and they will do little jabs at you in a relationship, question little things to see how you'll react, to see what you will say. And you will wonder, where is this coming from? The content she watch, and she think that she's okay. Now nah, I'm empowered. All right, be single. Be single. Like, out guys, be more empowered to say you are single. Because these women, when they be saying, "You have three man," I don't want to say. It. <laughs> All right, guys.